Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Papa Meerkat Gaming, and we are in the world of Borderlands 3. Today is Monday, and I'm starting a new uh, a new character. As you see here, I have uh, a character already made. It's because I played the game a bit with some buddies of mine. That is not YouTubers. It's just normal people that I know, some friends of mine. So, yeah, and I got two characters. These both are my co-op characters. I played as Flack and Amara. My highest character, of course, is Amara. <clears throat> and so, I was on Twitter, and I asked everybody which character should I play. And uh, the only one response I had was a guy on Twitter, a friend of mine named Adam. And he told me to try and play Mose. So that's the character I'll be playing today is Mose. So let's start a new game. I'll put it in normal and cooperation or cooperation. This one that allows you to everybody has to uh, fight over the loot like old Borderlands games. This one allows you to have instance loot. That means all loot is yours no matter what. Everybody sees their own loot in chests and whatnot. I'll just keep it in that mode. So you want to hear a story, huh? A tale of adventure across the stars. <laughs> Come, listen to old Marcus. Have I got a story for you? My tale begins here, on this backwater planet called Pandora. Some say it is a wasteland of greed and violence, and it is. But if you've got skills to pay the bills, <laughs> Pandora is full of opportunity! Vault Hunters. They brave the merciless borderlands in search of secret alien treasure. My father told me tales of vault hunting when I was but a little Marcus boy. And now, I tell you. So, you ask, what treasures do the vaults hide? Fame? Wealth? Power? Or maybe nonsense like charity or family. I don't know. Use your imagination. Whatever the prize, a vault hunter must have the determination to seize victory from the jealous hands of fate. Now, my story is about a very special band of vault hunters who have only just started their journey. They are bold and hacked. Maybe old Marcus tells you this story because they remind me of you. Just a little, don't let it go to your head. These new Vault Hunters are answering a siren's call. Her name is Lilith, and she is a hero. Savior of Pandora a dozen times over. Lilith is recruiting a team to hunt for a map. A map that leads to vaults all over the galaxy. But she is not the only one. Dark forces have gripped the borderlands. A new threat unlike anything the galaxy has seen before. My story begins right here on Pandora with our new Vault Hunters, their siren leader, and most importantly, me. And yes, I will be muting the music here at the beginning. Because it's copyrighted music, just like all the other Borderlands. <clears throat> but I'll keep the video in. This is the first time I ever recorded a console game on my uh, Elgato. I've, it's always been just PC only. So it took me a bit to figure out how to get the audio to work and how to, how to get it to record. And apparently on the PS4 there's a setting called HDCP that will block video or copyrighted materials automatically and Elgato will not record at all if that setting is on. So I had to turn that setting off so any potential people out there that want to record PS4 go into settings and turn off HDCP in console settings or it will not record whatsoever. I was like why is it not showing any picture? Well, it was being blocked by the PS4. Yeah, I played this game a little bit. As you saw, I'm level 22, Amara. I made it a little ways. And it's fun as heck. This game is awesome so far. 
I haven't got any legendaries. No freaking legendaries, guys. Except skins. And I don't count skins. <laughs> yeah, I know this is copyrighted music, so I'm definitely going to have to mute all this. But you get to see the picture. And they got rid of the loot midges. I didn't see any loot midges yet. And they call them tinks now, not midges. And they look funny too. <laughs> and yes, I did uh, pre-order the uh, Super Deluxe Edition. That allows you to have uh, the toy box weapons. And all the skins and stuff and whatnot to start with. <laughs> But I'm not sure I'm going to actually use them. I might wait to use them. Because when uh, me and my buddy started playing a co-op game. And I played as Flack. I waited to use the items. Until I was like higher level. And they matched my level. Which was kind of cool. I thought about playing Zane. But the, on Twitter the only person like I said Adam. Said play Moe's. So I'm going to play Moe's. But I'm going to play every character at some point. I like Flack. He's pretty cool. Amaro's really awesome too. <clears throat> See, I like Moses because he has all the robots and stuff. Just like in the pre-sequel. They had the... Uh, what's his name? Uh, Wilhelm. And he had the little robot. Those are cool. <laughs> and here comes Marcus. All right, now I can unmute all this and you can hear it. Ah, it's a beautiful day, full of opportunity. So, who's coming? So, who's coming? I've already got a Mara Flack. Only character I will not be having yet is Zane. So, I'm going to choose Moe's. Summon her Iron Bear battle suit to uh, shield herself while unleashing a salvo of death on her enemies. Ooh. Yeah, I've got a uh, Flack. He has, like, pets you can summon. A uh, spider ant, a skag, and something else. Oh, it's a monkey that holds a pistol. <clears throat> and Amara. She's a siren, and she's pretty awesome to use, too. And the skill trees are very huge compared to Borderlands 1 and 2 and pre-sequel. But we'll be play, uh, picking Moe's. New Vault Hunter, huh? Name's Marcus. You picked a hell of a time to join the Crimson Raiders. <laughs> Good to see someone survive the attack. I'm Lilith, commander of the Crimson Raiders. Those bandits you fought are part of a cult hunting for the Vault Map. You and I are gonna find it first. For now, my scout is waiting for you up ahead. Good luck. It feels kind of weird Voice holding a PlayStation. This is your stop, Vault Hunter. Good. I'm locked, loaded, and ready to loot. Try to stay alive. I'd hate to lose a new customer. <laughs> if I, it kind of feels weird playing with a controller at my desk. It feels weird. I feel like I'm cramped. Like that. And welcome to Pandora! Hey, In <laughs> you must be the new recruit. I am a CL4PTP steward bot, but you can just call me General Claptrap of the Crimson Raiders! What's your name? <coughs> Mose, Gunner First Class, ex Vladoff Mechanized Infantry. Thanks! I'll pre order your tombstone just in case. Now, those jerks who tried to murder you are the children of the vault, a bandit cult who followed their creepy leaders with blind devotion. Which reminds me, if you're going to obey my every beck and call, You'll need an echo device. Nah, who needs that? The Echo 3. Slightly more powerful than the Echo 2 and twice as expensive. Besides, the Echo 2 had a tiny issue with spontaneous combustion, so they rebranded <laughs> those as grenades. Now listen up, recruit. Lilith ordered us to take over a Children of the Vault propaganda center. Time to show those culty weirdos that no one messes with the Crimson Raiders. Follow me, recruit, to glory! Glory, huh? Not with you, Claptrap. Not with you. Alright. You can uh, see you can sprint just like any other games, but you can slide. 
which is new, and you can uh, clamber over uh, uh, edges and whatnot. If I can try to do it here, there we go. See, you can actually grab the edge and climb up, which is new as well. Slide. All right, I'm gonna run around and check for boxes because there is several boxes to loot around here. Get some extra cash and starting starting ammo. Look at this. The refrigerator is a little bit more detailed now compared to Borderlands 2 and 1. But like I was saying before, Claptrap uh, interrupted me. Is that in Borderlands uh, 1, when you see Marcus's bus drive off, there's a wall at the back here and there's a wall up there and over there is uh, Firestone. Where does the bus go? <clears throat> it goes through the wall. Alright. Let's see how far I can get in this first episode. So, uh, pretty soon I gotta go and get my son off the bus. I don't know if I should go and pick up all this junk everywhere. But having that starting ammo is awesome. <clears throat> Alright, let's go check out... Her skill tree is locked, though. Yeah. Oh, I want to stay in there. Alright, so, yeah, I got nothing equipped. And these, uh, two weapon slots are locked, and your class mods and relics are locked for a while. The map is 3D now, and you can move it around and stuff, and you can fast travel with, like, in the menu now, instead of having to go to a station. Which is so handy. And what is that over there? Why is there just random vehicles out there? There's three of them. I never saw that before. You see that, guys? There's three vehicles out there. Weird. I guess I never opened the map at the very beginning of the game. Oh, yeah. And I wanted to show you guys. Uh, if I go into here, there's a social slot. I'm not going to go to the S button because the S button is the uh, shift rewards. And I don't want to give that away. And that other thing you just saw is all my friends on my PS4. Because this is my original account, Suhack, which I've had for many, many years now. And why it's Suhack is because that name was in Final Fantasy XI. That was the name of my main character. And it's been that way. I had it forever. So here's the toy box guns. The butt stallion pack. Toy box pack. All this stuff. And I kind of want to say it. Well, no, there's no point to saving this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and take the booster pack. I'll just take everything. And this stuff right here is that if you use certain weapon, like Torg weapons, Jacob weapons, Hyperion weapons and whatnot, and you do uh, hunts for Sir Hammerlock, they send you guns in the mail. And yeah, you get these guns, and they're randomized. But you see the levels are high on these, so there's no point of picking them up. Alright. There we go. Resume the game. Back. Now I got a shield. And two guns. This is a level one. You got the hyper hyper hydrator. You can switch between electricity and water gun, which is a really funny weapon. The Girth Blaster Elite. Yeah, these weapons are not that good. But this shield is actually pretty good to start with because it gives you an experience gain of 10% and loot rarity boost until level 10. It says XP and loot effects of work through level 10. And then these funny uh, uh, grenades. This one's actually pretty good because it causes the enemies to drop a bunch of money. Then you got the ultra ball. I can't remember. I think it's a it like blows up in confetti. It doesn't really do much except for confetti. And this one shoots, or you throw a butt stallion or a little unicorn, a diamond unicorn, and it slightly homes in on the enemies. Girth. <laughs> and uh, the water pistol. Yeah, this gun right here sucks. I know it's supposed to be like for fun at the start, but it, it does suck. Say it's a water gun to begin with. If I push the D-pad down, you get water. Shock. This is how you switch the different modes on weapons. So you shoot water, make somebody wet, shoot them with shock. Which is kind of a pain to use. 
so I will be switching that one out ASAP or as soon as possible if you don't know what that means I don't know how far I'm gonna get in this first episode because it, I kind of took me forever trying to figure out how to record my PS4 it took a long time way longer than it should have I was like why isn't our recording now and then after I figured out how to get it to record I couldn't get audio and then I and then I just did I was like okay there's something weird here I know clock trap I know oh this actually is a nerf gun it shoots nerf darts that's why it's called the toy box pack and if you uh, ever wonder how to change the skin on a gun you now you see down at the corner says change weapon skin default and you get these skins there's a gold skin which doesn't look as shiny as it should now that makes it even more nerfy or that, <laughs> there you go now there's your skin right there <laughs> psychedelic and it is animated on the side of the gun you can see it moving so there's animated skins now oh and when you open boxes and loot stuff you don't actually have to hold square anymore to pick up stuff out of boxes and ammo it's automatic as long as you have empty ammo or low ammo and something I know I'm talking a lot and still at the very beginning here when you get move on here but I can't help to loot stuff it's it is a Borderlands game I hope Moses is pretty fun to use. Mar Amara is so well. Black and Amara is awesome so far. Now I know everybody probably has their preferences on the builds. Before we wreak our righteous vengeance, you'll need to register your echo at this quick change. Once we defeat the cult, I'll be famous. And when I'm signing autographs, I need you looking sharp while defending me from my legions of fans slash stalkers. <laughs> what the? Weird. Alright, quick change. What do we got? I'm not a big fan of that huge helmet she has. That is a huge helmet. Look at that thing. My goodness. This is part of the, uh, getting the Super Deluxe Edition. So I'll just keep it all normal. There we go. Cl uh, clear, pa plastic, uh, pl clear plastic case. If I can even say that correctly. We'll do, do that one. All right. And this is where you do respect. No. Don't worry. Corporations have our best interests at heart. Except you have time to read all this. And Hyperion. And Nimrod. Ah, oh, see it goes away. This way. It automatically goes away, so you can't read it. You know there's some funny stuff in there. No! This can't be happening! The entire mission is ruined! Think, Claptrap, think! You're brave and powerful, and people always do what you tell them to! That's no. it! Recruit, get that gate open! That's an order from your superior officer! Superior officer, huh? He's always so full of himself, isn't he? And uh, your objectives have a glowy stuff around it now. It. Best recruit ever. But don't get caught. Slide. Yeah, gotta go have all these tutorials. Like how to jump and slide and stuff. <laughs> yeah. I just did. Did that not count? You, you slide downhill, it seems like you slide a little bit longer. <laughs> And it's funny is that I'm not used to sliding in Borderlands that when I start actually getting into big battles and whatnot, I don't remember to slide, like, at all. I need to try to figure out how to teach myself, hey, you got a sliding mechanic. Use it. The propaganda center is up ahead. Those cultists have been killing Prince and Raiders left and right. They totally suck skag balls. But I've got a foolproof nice. plan to kick their culty asses. I hit a culty butts. Nearby. Stay quiet and follow my every move. It's still time. Still time. I'm kind of further away from my microphone, so hope that hope you guys can hear me. I have to uh, maybe boost the audio a bit. So stealthy. 
I'd like to get to Shiv, this is the first boss, minor boss, before ending the episode. Once we complete our mission, Lilith has to promote me to Super General. Stand back! You did say stealth, right? Relax! On Pandora, it's actually super weird if something's not exploding. Now take your gun, recruit. Got a point. You're gonna need it. Wow, this gun's actually better than this one by a slight amount. Actually sucks, though. These guns, like myself, are to be holden to their primary function. I can dance and sing. And some guns now include an alternate shooting mode. Try it out. Alternate shooting oh, mode. Yep. Yeah. That uh, the pistol, which I'm going to replace the water gun with because the water gun is awful. So we're going to switch this uh, Malaco. And uh, it does have an alternate shooting mode as well. And it has zip rockets. Shoots little rockets that are not extremely accurate. I'm going to switch back to pistol. And there you go. A lot of guns have uh, alternate firing modes now. There's some guns that don't. funny that this actually does more damage than that one you start with from this, uh, the toy box. But if you want to, if you do have all that extra stuff, just level up a character for a long time and I think it'll come out to being your level. <clears throat> or if you, before you redeem your uh, code for all the uh, deluxe edition stuff, wait until you have a high level character, then the weapons will be high level. I don't see the point because I don't think they're that great to begin with. You toilets are nasty. Is that smiley face still there? No, they took away the smiley face. Piss there. Something. B A. But in Borderlands one, <coughs> I think it's Borderlands one and two. There was always a smiley face drawn in. In the filth. Wait here. I'll talk my way in, become their king, and then you'll surprise slaughter them in cold blood. Watch and learn, recruit. Hello? Anyone there? Star Wars reference. Holy influencer of the children of the vault. What do you want, Crambot? Hello, bloodthirsty maniac. It is I, Claptrap, Slayer of the Destroyer, and Super General of the Crimson Raiders. We have you completely surrounded. Open the gates now, and perhaps I will be merciful. Uh, yeah. Let me think about that. They might call themselves children of the vault, but they're still bandits, and bandits are incredibly stupid. Okay, we're going to surrender. Please don't kill us, Grandpa. That's what I <laughs> thought. Open the doors immediately for your new king. Easy, easy. I'm, uh, I'm coming. That's a Star Wars reference right there. We did it! Ah, Out of Jabba's did it. Jabba the Another Hutt's for the palace. Raiders. Hey, I feel funny. What's <laughs> happening to me? Man, here we go. We are in battle. Now why I'm playing this on PS4 is because I didn't, I'm not a big fan of the Epic Store. So I'm going to get it on PC sometime way in the future when it releases on Steam. Let's get it over with. I just don't have any faith in that Epic Store, I'm sorry. There's some people that do, but I don't. I used to like Epic games. Made all the Unreal Tournaments and all that stuff back in the day. I used to love playing Unreal Tournament, man. I'm not saying about the company, it's just the company. It's just the company went to crap. Because they got so big, I guess. 
I know Claptrap can be a little Claptrap, but he's still one of us. We're gonna have to save him. I'll be there soon. Alright, I've been playing this for a little while. Like I said, I do have two characters already since the game came out. And I've been a little bit a little ways in and this chest is the only one I've ever seen. This right here is like from the uh, second game, having these uh, car trunks. You don't see any more of these throughout the game that I've noticed. Ooh, this one has 16 damage. Actually, it's worse, but hey. I'm switching that out. Oh, it looks like a Jacobs, too. Nice. I do like a good Jacobs. And we'll have to take the Iron Wield. That's a Jacobs, too. That's one of my favorite companies in the game because if you guys remember my first playthrough, I love playing with the. Um, uh, what are they called? The ah, uh, I can't remember what they they are. Kind of like the uh, revolvers. There you go. Finally, I can think to myself. Oh, and boxes like this, and there's like certain environmental things that you can destroy, and they will drop stuff. You don't get very much at the beginning of the game, but because it's the beginning of, beginning of the game. All right. Hey, crap, crap. Yeah. Somebody shooting at me over here. From where? There he is. Boom. And they brought back Gibby. Means the enemies explode. In the second game, they got rid of the explosions. Oh. Psycho. Gone. Enjoy. Yeah, in consoles, they automatically put up, uh, bring in the auto, slight auto targeting There's or no aim assist. There's no way this and delicate body can survive a showdown with Shiv unprotected. Look around for a shield. Oh, I know where it's at, but I already got his shield. <laughs> I don't want to climb up there, <laughs> man. For some reason, I just want to cough every time I want to record. My body's like, use time to cough. Sniper rifle ammo. Does it look like I have a sniper rifle? There's a chest up here. Oh, greens. SMG level 2. And two SMGs. Hyperion. They're both Hyperion. And I think there's something else on the other side here. Yeah, little boxes. Monies. And uh, if you remember, if you ever played the second game and uh, the pre-sequel, it take, took mo Moonstones and Iridium. Iridium to uh, get your uh, ammo and your backpack upgrades and whatnot. Well, it takes money now. And it gets real expensive real quick. It goes from 1,000 all the way up to like 80,000 just for like slot 4. It's ridiculous. This entire chest for a few broken shields. You, they're all red. Now I'm not going to take up the inventory <clears throat> space. I don't know if Shiv actually drops a legendary. He hasn't dropped nothing for me. Actually, all the bosses haven't dropped anything for me yet. Which is ridiculous. This game hates me apparently. All right, let's go after Shiv. Up, oh, the door's closed. Oh, I have to take a shield. What if I just drop my shield and put it back on? Would that count? I guess I'll pick up a shield. Not even worth that much money. $19. More than I have in real life. <laughs> ah, sad days. Alright. I guess I'll pick up a shield. shield. Now you're invincible. Not really, but it just might keep Shiv from killing you in one hit. Now let's get you in there, recruit. Hey, Shiv! All your dumb friends are dead. I challenge you to a trial by combat. But because I'm stuck to this magnet, my loyal champion shall vanquish you 
You have a sacrifice quota. What's that blue thing, though? Weird. Why is his teeth glowing? Or is that just part of the mask? <coughs> Man, every time I talk, I need a cough for some reason. I'm gonna sharpen my blade on your spine! Phew. Brought a knife to a gunfight. Right? I love chopping heretics! Uh huh. You missed. Out of here. Your blood will boil. Ow. Trying to get some headshots here. Got some. I don't know if this guy drops anything at all, to be honest. And leveled up. Congratulations, you've leveled up. Leveling up permanently increases your health. It also immediately gives you full health and shields. Most importantly, you've unlocked your action skill. Or action skills. You have three action skills to choose from. View and equip your skills by pressing the pad and navigating to the skill screen. The KIA on the yep. knife wielding maniac. Super Whoa. Dead. I got a shotgun early on. It's a Hyperion though. I'd love to have a Jacob shotgun. You and Claptrap secure the area. I'm on my way. Nice. Early shotgun. Yeah, you see how fast I got rid of that toy box stuff. Are you dead? If not, get Yes, I'm dead. Collaborator and Sharp Ranger. Alright. And there's a robot. And Moe's can choose from multiple action skills to start. Moe's Iron Bear mech can be outfitted with a number of action skill abilities. Mix and match skills or double up on a powerful favorite. Equip action skills in both Iron Bear slots. Alright. Skills are organized into different trees representing different uh, play styles. Trees contain action skills, augments, and passive abilities. Yep. Press R, L2, and R2 to switch between. I don't know what it would be on PC. Yep. Yep. To navigate between available action skills, press X on the selected action, action skill to equip it in the loadout. Oh, that's her weapons. Uh, equip slot 1. Equip slot one. It's, it, but it's not. It's not letting me see what it is. Oh, here it is. Rail gun. Ooh. Mini gun. And V thirty five grenade launcher. Hmm. Automatic grenade launcher. Its grenades are not affected by Moses equipment. Equipped a grenade mod. That rail gun now fires electrified high velocity project projectiles that deal shock damage. Then I'm going to stick with the uh, minigun to start. The minigun is capable of sustaining rapid fire, firing for long periods, causing the minigun to overheat, ran, uh, rendering it inoperable for a few seconds. So I'm going to start with a minigun. Can I actually, oh, can I actually do more than one? Equip slot two. Awesome. You can get two right off the bat. Come on, man. The action skill has been equipped and can be used. I know. Return to the skill tree after leveling up to spin a skill. Yep, yep, yep. I know, man. Alright, so I equip slot one and two. Or I can uh, change it out for the. It means I can equip the rail gun anytime I want. If I if I don't like the uh, the two I already selected. That is sweet. Cloud of lead. Iron bear slot. Sh shots will deal additional incendiary damage and won't consume ammo. Man turret to the back of the Iron Bear. Nice. But I'm not playing co-op, so I'm probably not going to use that. That's for a co-op partner, if you will. They can climb on the back of it and use the turret. Well, that's cool. Alright, we'll look at that stuff later. Now 
Let's see how Moe's acts. I mean, I like Amara and uh, Flax so far. They're really fun to use. So hopefully, Moe's is going to be pretty fun to use as well. I heard from a friend of mine that there was some bugs with her, her mech. <coughs> Walking like small platforms or uh, ledges and whatnot. And uh, the mech was falling through the le the platforms. Like falling through the world. Claptrap, be quiet. There's loot to be had. I need to check the accuracy of the shotgun. Ah, 47 is not great. But hey, it's a shotgun. I had shotguns. I had like a uh, Jacob shotgun with another character. 74 accuracy and it was awesome. Loved it. Until it got weak and I couldn't use it no more. <laughs> Good job, like that. Oh. Come on, back up with you. There you go. Wow! I did it! I single-handedly took on the COV and sent them packing. Now all that's left Where's is to signal Lilith that the mission is complete. His antenna's gone. Made a return. Lilith, I can safely report that Operation Trojan Time Trap was a complete success. I did it all by myself. I'll bet. Well, the cults destroyed every other Crimson Raider stronghold, so this will have to do for now. So, what's your name, Killer? Mose. And you're the voice in my head, right? Yeah, about that. Not the weirdest thing you're gonna see on Pandora. But seriously, thanks for answering my call. We might not have the numbers, but with a badass like you, we've got a fighting chance. Welcome to the Crimson Raiders. Pandora's a dangerous place. That grenade mod will come in handy. You should equip it before we get started. Let me know when you're ready. No. I already got one. Ready to chuck some boom and frag some maniacs. All right. Hey, do you hear bloodthirsty screaming? More COV. Let's see what you got, recruit. There's too many no. of them! We're doomed! Doomed! Oh. It's the fire! Huh? <laughs> God Queen wants her hair! What? This grenade misses more than it hits. None of that. It just misses every time. He like, intentionally misses every enemy on the field. But I've used it before and it gives a lot of money to start with, so it's, if you can hit something with it. Wow. Thanks for the shower. Nice fighting, killer. Well, that was it. Yeah, every rocket literally, or every uh, grenade I threw literally missed the enemy. It seemed like it was on purpose, too. And that's why these toy box weapons are kind of, uh, uh kind of garbagey. But I, I remember using the, this grenade mod that causes the enemy to drop money. For a little while. It does boost you on some money, though. Alright. No, well, I guess we're pretty much done at the beginning of the game here. Let's see if we get some more grenades. <coughs> what is wrong with my throat? Why is it so itchy? For itchy tasty. That's actually a saying from uh, the original Resident Evil. When you find a note, <laughs> or you read the note, and then you exit the the reading the note part or whatever and then a zombie jumps out of the uh, closet and there's a dude that takes care of dogs or the kennel 
How do I remember that? I have no idea. I haven't played the first game in a while. Children of the Vault. I can't believe the bandits actually stopped fighting amongst themselves. You also have a small shield in front of the gun. All right, we got a foothold. Maybe things are turning our way. Come on, killer, you're with me. Let me catch you up. A while back, we found a map that led to vaults all over the borderlands. Dream come true, right? I didn't realize how big of a target it would make us. We got attacked and the map was lost. I've been looking for it ever since. This way. I was so focused on finding the map, I didn't notice that Pandora was changing. The bandit clans used to just murder each other for fun. Now, they're all under one banner. A cult. The Children of the Vault. Right. Come on, let's take a look around. Their leaders are the Calypso Twins, and their followers worship them like gods. They're convinced the map will lead them to something called the Great Vault, and they've been slaughtering anyone who gets in their way. We heard a rumor that a bandit clan found an alien artifact in the desert. Go see the map. That's what we're here to find out. Locked. <laughs> Not gonna keep a siren out, though. Nope. Except for the siren that you play as. I'll stand guard! Perfect. You're so useless, Claptrap. <laughs> Here. A computer. The Sun Smasher Clan has recovered the sacred vault map. Send our followers to invite the Sun Smashers into our holy family. And hurry, the twin gods grow hungry. The map. The twin gods. We have to beat them to the Sun Smasher. I'll open the gate. I'm gonna play for a little bit longer until it's very close to the time of me picking up my son, then I'm gonna have to end the episode. I just hope I'm not in the middle of something that's unskippable, like dialogue or whatnot. Or a cutscene, even. No droughts. <clears throat> that does look like Pandora. <coughs> I just keep coughing. It's like itchy throat like crazy. I'm leaning back and hopefully you guys can still hear me. Push the chair forward. There we go. I'm gonna set up camp and gather some intel on the Calypso. Find the Sun Smasher War Chief and do whatever it takes to get that map. Seems like you guys got me. Good luck. I'm gonna hang out in some trash. So what are we working on here? Hang out in trash. Well, this place kind of sucks, but it's all we got at the moment. Not the first time the Raiders have had to start from scratch. It's no sanctuary. Hope Ellie gets that ship working soon. I'm trying to keep my controller underneath the desk, so you don't hear the the button presses. <laughs> Which are clicky. If you ever played a PS, well, I'll play a PS4. Yeah, the buttons are a little clicky. Yeah. Nope, can't make it. Close, but no cigar. Oh, there's the new base, temporary base, of course. And they changed the way the shops work. Like you see right here, it says uh, square to for shop and triangle to refill ammo. You don't have to go into the shop to refill ammo anymore. You hit the triangle button, boom, refills all your ammo. And it shows item of the day up front here. Blood longbow, divider, and rain. Switch the two grenades to in flight. Wow. That might be actually kind of interesting to use. Is there a money one in here? No. There's, uh, besides the one I have equipped, there is actual money grenades that, that when causing damage, you'll cause the enemy to drop money. Get the fun shot. 
and I will be keeping the shield I got equipped it right now because it gives me a loot boost and a exp boost this is for pre-ordering the super deluxe edition and by the way I didn't mention this at the beginning of the video but this is a ps4 pro that I'm playing this on so if that means anything I don't have any new skins. I want to get rid of that helmet though. It, I, I didn't want to play Moe's because I didn't actually like the way the helmet looks for some reason. And these are funny. They got uh, Sloppios. <laughs> Torg, Torg branded cereal. But if you yeah. smack it. <laughs> they, the box literally plays music. Open lootables. Yep, uh, you don't have BA rank anymore. It's called something else, which is locked until you beat the storyline. It says return after completing all of the story missions for more rewards. Yeah, it's like it's crazy weird. Uh, shield. Yeah, uh, these ammo crates like um normal boxes. Uh, these and let's see if I find a box. Well. Don't know where one is. There's like certain boxes that will have uh, shields and grenade mods in them now. Could be one over here. Actually, I'm gonna do this mission real quick, and then I'll probably end the episode. You got a mission for Marcus out here. My vending machine is broken. Help Marcus repair his vending machine so you can get at them sweet guns. How am I yeah, yeah. to profit off this war torn? Yeah, I mean, they sell premium weapons to heroic vault hunters such as yourself. Let's fix my vending machine. And by that, I mean, you fix it. Thanks. I'm going to see if I can try to complete this mission before moving on or ending the episode. I got to go collect a. Identify problem. Yep, okay. I think you got a couple of collect a couple of spines. Yum. I'm really pressed for time right now, so hopefully I make it. I'll be doing uh since I figured everything out sort of of how to record a console through Algato. <coughs> Which is not that hard for a separate one of those separate cards. The ones that you just plug in via USB. But this will plug straight into the computer. One of the uh, video card slots, I guess it's called. I don't know. Damn cycles, always scavenging to make their buzz axes and meat bicycles. You'll need to replace that circuit with something. Hmm. You know, some skags are chock full of electricity. Get me one of their spines. Better get used to doing things like this if you want to survive on Pandora. Oh, and if you're feeling extra gruesome, you could also try getting a human spine from one of those filthy bandits. That could work. Yeah, the uh, doing optional quests onto a main quest, like say helping Marcus out here, there's an optional quest. As you see, there's a blue plus on the collect human spine. If you complete the uh, optional quest, you actually get more rewards for it. So it's always worth doing the optional quest. Like they'll open a chest for you or something nearby. And you'll see what Marcus does for you. <laughs> Level 3. Yeah, yeah. Back in Oh man, that's satisfying. There's no point of trying to collect any shields. Not unless something is really super powerful, then I will use it later on after this shield becomes useless. Alright, let's see. What do we got here? We got deadlines. Firing iron bear weapons drains less fuel. Oh. It has a fuel limit? Oh, that's your timer. 
means you can only have the the uh, the mech out only for a certain amount of time. So that's a good one to get. Make you it makes it last longer. A bubble shield that re <coughs> dang reduces damage taken. Hmm, that's neat. She loses a small portion of her health and grant additional incendiary damage to her and her allies around uh, rounds for a few seconds. Hmm. I might stick with currently equipped weapon gains a stack of bonus magazine size and decrease heat per shot for every piece or every uh, piece of equipped gear that has a matching manufacturer. Ooh. Well, I might stick with this one to start with because that's going to be a very handy early on. I think so. And if you if you guys are a fan of my Let's Plays of all my Borderlands on my channel, then you know that I'll be moving uh, pre-sequel to which is, uh, Old School Sundays, while the new game is going to be on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So pre-sequel is not gone; it's just moved for only one. <coughs> <coughs> wow. Better luck next life. But it, it's been moved to old school Sunday. Like that just my throat just does not like me to do any commentary at all. Well it doesn't help that I start smoking again. In my real life I got some problems going on and that's my stress relief. Always fall back on the, the awful stuff. Hmm, oh, another shotgun. With worse accuracy than this one. Ha! That ragdoll. There's one of those shock skags now. Get it spied. You wanna use this because that's got better accuracy. Except I can't reload. I might use the iron bear. That just destroyed it. Wow. Can I just end this like right now? No. Ah, very good. Bring it back to the machine and be quick about it. Oh, you can sprint with this thing too. Nice. Oh, it's a Jacobs. Can I not exit the this? Oh, eject. You gotta hold down the uh, circle button. Woo. It is a Jacob shotgun. Oh, <laughs> that's classic. Classic shotgun design. Looks like I'm playing Doom now. Oh, I'm getting all kinds of cool stuff. Another Jacobs. Oh, that accuracy though. A Jacobs without good accuracy is not Jacobs at all. Ha! Alright, I'm gonna go after a human spine now. And that'll be the end of this episode. After I turn in the mission. I'm running really, really out of time right now. Where am I even going? Oh. Am I going to a base or something? I just did this quest and I can't remember. Wow. That gun takes forever to reload. It's like playing Doom with more uh, movability. I don't even know why I'm going that way. It shows a marker there, but I think the way into that base is over here. <laughs> what? Another Jacobs? Wow, this game is really liking the Jacobs. Another classic with a bayonet on it. Nice. Let's go up here and get us a human spine. <laughs> There's one of the COV bases. <laughs> Got it. Ah, human spine acquired. You'll fit right in on Pandora. <laughs> Give it a try. 
Well, I'm gonna leave the base and complete this mission before I run out of time. The bus is gonna be here in like 20 or 30 minutes. Which sounds like a long time, but not really. So I'll, uh, when I uh, do my uh, tomorrow's episode, I'll be exploring that base. Alright. Oh yeah, I gotta go over here. Okay, now install right. the spy. <laughs> that bandit spine's not actually gonna work. <laughs> I just wanted some payback because those bastards broke my machine. Still, I appreciate your dedication to capitalism. You've already got a shark skag spine. Try that. It will work much better, I promise. Well done, Vault Hunter. Now you have access to my vast array of murderous wares in a new convenient location. And as an added thank you for dishing out some vengeance on those filthy bandits, let me open up my secret stash for you. Who says payback doesn't pay, huh? Yep, I think, uh, I think he always opens the secret stash for you, but... You might get a better chance for something in the secret stash because you did the extra part portion or extra option to the mission. But I know there is some missions out there that gives you a lot more stuff, like opening up a secret loot vault or something. I think this chest is always disappointing though. This game is being really generous with the Jacob's weapons. And their shotguns are the best, in my opinion. Oh, I already got a purple? Oh, that's a skin. And I got a blue. And it looks like a Jacobs. Look at that. I bet, yeah, it's a Jacobs. There's a pistol. Dastardly Bowie Ranger. Level 4. Inventory full. Game. No. Drop. Hmm. Drop. Get rid of all these white guns. Oh, I do have. Oh man, that is the worst head in the game. There we go. All right, skin. What do we got here? Gunner skin. Moist the flag. Yum. I might change over to this pistol. Oh wow, that accuracy though. It is blue. That doesn't look like a pistol. Actually, I think that's the best loot I've ever gotten from this chest, and I've done it twice now. Everything else has always been like shield mods or uh, whatnot, and it's always been lame. Alright guys, well, there's your first episode. We took out Shiv, we helped out Marcus in his shop, we explored a small portion of this map, and this map is kind of big. We, we, we explored this much. And I stopped right there when I took out that, um, Psycho. And then I ran back. So, yeah, you got all this. <laughs> and there's another area that leads somewhere else here, too. There's three different zones. And if you're in this view, you see this map. It's all 3D and all this stuff. If you hit triangle button, as it says down there, it says orbit view. Boom, you get to see the planet of Pandora. This is where you started. This is where you end up. This is where the final boss is. Spoilers. Yeah, there's the uh, the Iridium Blight in the second game. Well, yeah. This is what Pandora looks like. And you go all the way out to a galaxy map. Which I only have one world unlocked. Pretty neat, huh? Alright. Let's get back to where I am. Alright. And you can fast travel from all those locations. It's pretty cute. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> Alright guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that episode. My very first episode of Borderlands 3. It's going to probably go out a little late tonight. Because I'm recording this a bit late. My sleep schedule is kind of messed up. So. But it will still be up by tonight at some point. So, uh, look forward to that. And, um. 
if you enjoyed this episode make sure to hit that subscribe button and join on up become part of the meerkat nation today yeah this thing is ugly look at that that is awful <laughs> i'd rather have the helmet but um yeah yeah and um if you like my commentary you find it helpful funny or entertaining besides some of the coughing for some reason my throat wants to itch only when i want to talk or do commentary make sure to hit that like button to show you support that the like button means a lot to me it does help me out a lot more than you think it allows people to find my uh, videos more often or easier they will actually pop up in feeds a, a lot more and if you hit that subscribe button you'll see a bell icon here when you hit the hit that bell icon then you become part of the Meerkat Nation notification squad that means when you hit that button or that bell icon then you become a uh, or you get notifications for everything I uplo upload so you don't miss any of these awesome Papa Meerkat adventures <coughs> Feels like it's been a while since I uploaded now I sound all weird again like I did when I first started uh, YouTube <laughs> alright guys well each and every one of you have an amazing day on your uh, and going on your own adventures and in real life or in gaming make sure to have fun and be safe out there and I'll see you guys later bye bye <laughs>